God damn it. You do not get to scare me like that, you piece of shit. First playthrough didn't know about the event log computer. Oh, really? That's funny. Then I followed the lights where it told me to go because the lights told me to go somewhere. See, that's where I want to be right here. And how do I take that thing off? Yeah, see, I follow the lights. And it took me to their ship. This is pod. This is their pod. So, and here's, here's, okay. See this? The red, the red thing. See if we can thread the needle. Shut up. I'm just drifting. Can't get me. You can't get me. I'm not even moving. <laughs> so if I hold down. Oh, I can free look around my cockpit. Oh, okay. That's what that is. I got my sneaky boots on, guys. My sneaky boots. And look at that, not getting any closer. You see this? Are you seeing this? It's not getting any closer. Oh, there it is, 0.5, there it is. Finally rolled over to 1.5. This is gonna take a minute. Buckle up, everybody. Actually, I'm going to unbuckle. <laughs> Wish I could just look around.
Like, is there a periscope? Periscope up! Okay, I think I think we're good now. Hopefully. I don't hear any squeak. I don't hear any screaming. No lights. Oh my fucking God. That only took like seven hours to fucking finally get to this fucking stupid place. Don't die by contact damage, dude. Please, please don't. Now there are lights. See those lights? There are four lights! Are they, are they telling me to go anywhere? Or just kind of hanging out. Seems like I missed something here. Oh, there we go. Whoops. There it is. It was an optical illusion. It was an optical delusion. Trees! Bless the trees! What is this thing? It's a warp core! It's not the warp core! Oh, it's fucking broken though! Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. But Did that open the door? Nope. 
It did not. Okay. Would you just fucking stay in one direction? Did I do something? I'm guessing if I had a proper warp, warp drive, it might that might have worked. I might have done something. The warp drive that is in there currently is kind of fucked. Oh shit, here we go. Here's some here's some shit. This is Eskal's vessel. Something went badly wrong uh during our warp, and our vessel is mortally wounded. We need help as quickly as possible. Our vessel appears to have has fused with the local environment somehow. There are vines that are now part of the vessel. It's been torn apart uh, from inside itself. We are abandoning the vessel, our vessel, and you know my clans are space flight capable species receiving this message. I implore you, we need your help. Is this broken? Can anyone hear me? Our vessel is dying. We need immediate assistance. Sorry. Do any know my clans whose vessels can hear this message? It's clear the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources to save places within space now, so my clan and I believe the best option is for all our clans to stay together. If you can reach the, the gloaming galaxy, we found that Black Rock's sons are fairly stable and life in this star system is comparatively thriving. We live in, in relative safely, safety. If you prefer to continue exploring alone, know you will be on your own. Tana, we're making our way to, way to you. It's good to hear from you, Bromie. We'll watch for your vessel. Has anyone heard from Neem? His clan was on its way to our vessel, but they never uh, arrived and he hasn't sent any messages. I'm beginning to worry. That is unsettling. It reminds me of that old myth my grandfather used to tell. The disappearance of Eskal. I remember hearing that story as a child. One day Eskal's vessel simply stopped responding. The other clan searched and searched, but found no trace. It was as if their, mess their missing friends had warped out of existence. That's no myth, friends. Eskel's clan existed and their story was real. What a curious event to have passed into myth. Our ancestors and ancestors were told that story when they were young. Are you sure it's true, Hyssop? It was a very long time ago, but yes. My clan's ancestors for Eskel's clan for a long time, but in the end, none of them were ever seen again. It's the only time in our history a vessel has ever disappeared this way. Hyssop, I hope you aren't comparing Eskel's story to my clan's vessel. Neem, my friend, we feared you were gone. Not yet, we aren't, but nearly. We found that we found trouble during our warp. The triple suns of Bright Spark Star System exploded, and it was only a lucky coincidence we weren't caught in the blast. <gasps> we'll meet you soon, Kana. I'm relieved your clan is safe, Neem. It's good to hear your words. Any vessels nearby remember to be extremely cautious of potentially unstable stars, which is most of them now. That was a that's a big story. You know, there should be fuel on this ship somewhere, I'd imagine.
However, Thank you. All right, the sun's gonna explode before I actually need to come back to my ship, so I'm not gonna bother saving it. I'm getting it close. Okay, we're good. We're good. Ow. Oh, come on. No other doors open? Seriously? Okay. So. <sighs> Gonna need a fucking warp core. Was there more to the first story? No, that's it. That's all there was. If, it, if they were blue, you could... There would there it means there's more of the story, but there's none. Okay. Oh, what? Okay. Okay, so there's coordinates. This is like the navigation. So if I want to go somewhere, that would be the coordinates of where I want to go. Zero gravity. I mean, I like fucking in zero gravity. So I need to bring a new warp core back here, I guess, huh? At some point. So I can, uh... Get this ship firing again. And we're all dead. Here it comes. You ready? I accept my fate! I'm okay with this. There it is. Here it comes. Yeah, that is still very cool. Jay Lang, 24 months of forgetting to one sub. Yes, I love that when you do that. Thank you so much. Two years of support. Yeah, double fart for you, buddy. That's a double fart.
Okay. So, let's find out what we learned. This is like a Groundhog Day game? Yeah, sort of, yeah. Yeah, yeah. In that you die and repeat the same day. So, yes. The vessel. Okay. Vessel's warp core is long dead. I activated a three-sided pillar on the vessel's bridge that appears to be some sort of input device. Yes. No might try to call for help, but the vessel's outgoing message system broke during the crash. The vessel can still hear incoming messages from other Nomai vessels. The remaining Nomai clans are regrouping in response to the impending death of the universe. Okay, so. Now what? Still more to explore there. I guess we can go back to the Sandy City because we haven't... We haven't explored everything. Oh, there's a gravity cannon. Hold on. Huge cylinder starts to generate a strong upward gravity field. Oh, yeah, because I shot myself out of it. That's how I learned more. <laughs> I'll give you five subs if you add a squeaker fart to the soundboard. A squeaker fart, huh? Let's see. What's this? Okay. I guess we can clear that. And then... Let me, let me see here. Nope. Hold on. I'm trying to make it high pitched. Like a fart too much. <laughs> Try to get the right air air valve. <laughs> I'm making myself laugh. to each other. <laughs> Behold the creative process. <laughs> the, 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 at, at the end, it's like, I'm going to hold it in. No, it's all coming at once. Brow. What do we think, Novarius? Are we happy? <laughs> Are we happy? <laughs> oh, yeah, we're happy. All right. Thank you, Navarius, for five gifted subs to Celery Stalker, Marshall Online, 10,000, O Architecture, Texture, and Miss Nathalie. Hail for Seekers! <laughs> yeah! Give me the, give me the, 
the five squeaker. <laughs> and then just the low one. Ooh, Ooh there was bubbles in that one. <laughs> Kadera, thank you for two months and welcome back. I still need I still need there's more to discover on the twin planets. So let's go there. I, I've played this game so many like for so many hours or I've crashed in the sun so many times that I'm like yep I'm not getting away from this <gasps> oh I checked the logs and it didn't like oh yeah no I checked the logs no and it told us more about the ship like the warp cores damage and all that kind of stuff You weren't paying attention. No, that's all right. No worries. No worries. That's what we want. We want the Ember Twin. more to explore in this area oh you fuckwad I'm just glad we found finally found that anglerfish cave because that whole anglerfish like storyline was Fucking horse shit. No, I mean it wasn't horse shit, excuse me. It just it was difficult for me to to uh uh get through because I'm not the best at things. Yep, that's a good stop. Perfect. Okay. But I am getting better at getting to the fucking sunken city now. That's nice. You know what? Fuck it. No, I'm not going. Not, not exploring. I know where I'm going. Not exploring. Thank you for 47 months, getting close to four years, homie. Okay. Anglerfish Overlook District. Stepping Stone, we did that, okay. Oh, the High Energy Lab, I don't think we ever like finished that because there was more to do. The energy lab was down here. I don't know if I ever got to it, did I? No, 
And you, oh, you got to get there quick too because it's at the bottom of the sand pit. Oh, no, no, no. I followed this all the way and there was cacti. I remember there were cacti in the way. Yeah, there, right there. Yeah, and I had to wait to get over top of them. Are you fucking fucking with me? Dude! Okay. God, this is a, this is just a stone cave. Ugh. Hey, dude. Watch out for that man eating jack rabbits and that killer cacti. this but okay so the high energy lab is right here okay oh oh the white hole station will take me to the high energy lab won't it because it's got that warp right And I never did figure out that black hole, the black hole force, because I did the thing. Oh, warp cores. Yes. I need a warp core from the black hole forge to put in the fucking thing. Let's go. Where are those twin fucks? Are they behind? Oh, they're, they're right in front of me. Up, 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 up. Where's that blue guy? Jesus. Oh, fuck off. Tree? A tree? Jesus. 
Jesus fucking Christ. Where's the blue beacon? For shit's sake. Oh, stop it. All right. Uh, getting late here. No more dissing you in the chat for me tonight. Watch. We'll watch from bed. All right, buddy. Suck a dick. Double puncture. Come on, man. That's some grade A horse shit. Well, that's just the anglerfish overlook, right? Now, let's never go up there again because we don't have to. Which one's the black hole? High energy. Nope. The ice shrine. Oh, that's in the fucking. Oh, no. The blood. That's in brittle, whatever. Brittle shit. in the shittle Brits. Took that much time. Now, this is not, this is where the anglerfish guys were.
I must, I think I might have missed I probably missed my window for the for the other cacti that I have to wait for yeah I did didn't I yep I did I don't know what took me like what took what ate up so much of my time oh man I wish I could get a a fucking booster upgrade So that would actually be faster, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Nothing here. Nothing here I haven't seen before. I've already seen all this. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Oh, this is the top. Okay. Yep. Never going up there again. I thought. I was wrong. I was wrong. I went up there. Oh, wait. I can just do this. Okay. Quit. <clears throat> God damn it, Dan. I need to get that fucking high energy goddamn bullshit. Got this, gotta 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 come on, come on. I'm getting impatient. Having to do the same thing every time. All the uncoordinated bouncing? What? Uncoordinated bouncing? What are you talking about? No, I don't even do any of that. right in. Look at that. Yeah, 
Alright. How many hours have I already played? Uh, I don't know. 20 plus? 24? 25? Something like that? I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, shit. Did I fucking... Yep. I did. Easy to miss. Easy to miss. Well, I've done a couple of partial broadcasts of this. Like, four hours... ...ish. So, I'm not really sure, like, how many in Toto. But... Fuck it. Just go downstairs. Just go down. No time to waste. All right. In, 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 in. Now. <clears throat> it goes down here. Two through here. Comes to a cactus. This that I have to wait for. I have to wait for it to get... Oh, well. Yep, see? I have to wait. Because I cannot get through past the cactus. So I have to wait for it to fucking fill up with sand. I can jump the cactus. I cannot, I cannot jump the sand though. The sand will push me down immediately, like with extreme prejudice. See, look at that, whip. <laughs> See, that's what, it hap what happens. Just like that. <laughs> so. I'll just wait here. Until this sand is above the cacti that I can get past and then we can progress, hopefully, to a new area of some sort. See, then it goes up there, but there we go. I just have to, I have to move, move, move. No, I don't. That doesn't matter. Nope. Here we go. Oh, goody. No, 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 it's down. It's a down. Put it away.
Check it out. That's a warp core? Wait a minute, that's not a warp core. Warp cores are way bigger than that. Oh my god, and there's different ones. There's like a dark sun or a black hole, a white hole. Oh god, I don't even know which warp core to use. <gasps> what did I do? I did what? Uh oh. Uh. Okay. I don't know what I just did. I hope it wasn't bad. All right, let's let's read some stuff, so it's not a total loss. Records show Nomai arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow very slightly before departing the White Hill Station. Ramey and I are devising an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or a simple machine error. Initial uh, things first, our experiment setup will be for, uh, will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic the setup on the White Hill Station. Hypothesis, it is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. In theory, we well, in theory we want to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the black hole and exiting the white hole at its destination. Okay, so that's how I save the world. That's how I save the world. Or save the universe. I I encase something in a white hole so the time Oops. No! Fucking let it drop it! Sparky, drop it. And create just an infinite time loop where we buy we're just buying time. Like one nanosecond at a time. I don't know how it would work, but like sending the sun or something like that through a white hole so it buys it one more second of time every time. Um or more nanosecond. Uh update. Our experiment here uh re produce the anomaly in arrival and departure times, but Pi is unconvinced it's more than an equipment error. I hope strength and effect. Yes, okay. To that end, we've decided to try adding more energy. I imagine some of the city's energy supply should be proved sufficient. Of note, Ramy, Yaro, of note, Ramy, Yaro suggests a request that we let him know before we reroute energy to the experiment. All available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Ramy and I are about to run a new test. Hypothesis confirmed. Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. Pi saw it. Hypothesis confirmed. This is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. What a beautiful day for the intersection of abstract theory and practical application. Kalu, Clay, what a fragilist day. I hate to leave him in the dark. Oh, okay. The Southern Observer Observatory is asking if create, creating a 22 minute interval is possible. That is to have something arrive 22 minutes before it is actually sent through the warp. We've learned the negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval uh, increases an exponential rate. 
Hypothesis, creating 20 new minute long interval is possible, but we are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. Raymond and I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy, a thrilling but enormous undertaking. We would also require advanced warp technology able to handle such energy. We would also likely need an enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be the Ash Twin. The energy is currently unavailable, you say? You're a gas pie. My pun was intended, Raimi. So I believe it's you who's Aeroform. Okay. The Ashwin project will be one of our biggest undertaking, undertakings, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we need a way to travel quickly between Ashwin and each location that holds crucial project materials. What if we use warp towers, like the one we have in the White House Station, connect each plant planet directly to the Ash Twin? Of note, each tower of Ash, on Ash Twin will warp to a different planet. We can design each tower to visually reflect its warp destination. The giant deep tower, for instance, could resemble a cyclone, and we could add trees to the Timberheart Tower. Poke, Root, and I can begin work on this immediately in the Black Hole Forge. This will keep us busy. Oh man, if we could just get in there. Ugh. This door will make closer to time. Pioneer running an experiment based on white, a finding from the Whitehall Station. The hydrogen engine is now being used to design the Ashman Project. If you're here to help, be sure to use sun, Sunless City Path to the lab. <laughs> right. Running experiment until one of us can prove the other wrong. Although it's convenient in the lab currently, yeah. I hate it. I hate it. There needs to be a better way. I don't want to have to wait for that fucking sand every time. That hurt. <laughs> Fuck my ass. Ran right into the goddamn cactus. Okay. Uh, I don't even know. Oh my God. Do I have to go through the fucking thing again? Where's the, is, isn't there like a warp spot? Where's the warp spot? It's gotta be up here, right? Right here, right? I can warp to somewhere else. This is it, right? Let me go somewhere. Is there a place to put this warp core? Uh, come on. And drop the warp core. Okay, warp core does not fit.
Oh, come on now. No. Just one more big jump. There we go. Okay. No drop. Drop. Am I gonna die? No, okay. Drop the warp core. Ah, where do I put this thing? I've got it, it's ready to go. Where do you want it? Where do you want it, bad guys? Where do you want it? Want it all over me? Just warp all over me. <laughs> hey, what the, nope, not there. Nope, I can drop it. Nope. <gasps> Wait, right here? Hey! Oh! Okay. What? So, white and black. Who? What the fuck? Uh. All oh, right, I'm out of oxygen. We're out of fuel. Now. Where did that shit go? Where's my scout? It's like right there below me. How do I get down there below me? Oh, it's underneath the sand now. Oh God, oh God, we're gonna have to go. We gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. I got no fuel. I can't, nope. Was that the window? That's not the window. No. That's not the window. Yeah, the game doesn't make much sense. Everyone knows planets are flat, but like, I think Mario Galaxy kind of like, you know, takes liberties with actual science. So like, it took the lead. It was like, nah, we're gonna say they're round for this particular, um, for this particular uh, uh, game. You know, like sometimes, like people can fly in, in video games and stuff like they take liberties. <sighs> no sense. I have spoken. Well, I mean, did you guys see the passion of the Christ? Like Taking a lot of liberties with reality with that movie, for sure. I mean, they, they didn't even make him Jewish. Did you know Jesus was a Jew? I'm not into torture porn. The earth was round. How could flat things lay on the ground flat? 
That ain't how geometry works. That's just basic geometry science. It is kind of shitty that I have to go through this garbage every time. And I have to wait for the fucking sand to fill up the stupid hole so I can get past those goddamn cactuses. I should conserve my fucking fuel last time. It was a bad thing. I almost ran out. Stop it. I got a big one. I got a big one. I got a big eyebrow. Oh, almost had it. Hold on. Nope. Nope. Come on, come on, come on. There it is. Oh, yeah. That's ah, not that big. I don't think I got the one I was aiming for. Alright, we got a couple of minutes. Ask me anything. Go ahead, ask me anything. While wow, this cave fills up with fucking sand so I can get past this. <sighs> you want a gameplay mechanic hand on resetting without loading the game from the main menu? Yeah, sure, kicks out. That'd be great. I would love that. I have a question. You look like Zach Alf Zach's friend. That's not a question. Do you have a girlfriend? No, I don't. What did I eat today? I don't think I've eaten anything today. Honestly, I don't eat breakfast and usually not very hungry in the morning. One superpower you like to have? Telekinesis. No doubt. No doubt. Uh, do you agree that the, with the assertion that there are two kinds of people in the world? Those who pee in the shower and the and liars? <laughs> yeah, right? Fuck you! Fuck you, game! I'm just fucking stubbing my toe on these fucking little cactuses. Cacti.
Um. Oh, here we go. Anything else around here? Don't look like it. Okay. Do you understand you're a really awesome dude? I suppose. Oh, oh, that's a down thrust. I need an up thrust. Trees. Thank you, trees. All right, so if I did this and this, what would happen? Nothing without the window open. If you don't, if you don't see it, it doesn't happen. So that does nothing. Oh shit, I bet I need two black holes, don't I? Because black holes will suck you in. See what happens. Oh god damn it, hold on. I gotta I gotta power it up first. There we go. Now we'll take a look. You know what? I want to do that one. I want to do that. The clear one first, too. See if I miss anything. No. Okay. I didn't think so. All right. Here we go. Black hole. Black hole. Go. Oh, what? What? I didn't do anything. I put a black and white one in there and did something. See, that does something. Okay, just spits it out. Okay. That does diddly shit. It also does diddly shit. This, the shittily did. Um. Two white holes ain't gonna do shit. Wagon. 
Uh, man! I thought for sure that would do something. It didn't do jack shit. Just created a black hole and a white hole. You absolutely nothing for me. Unless, of course. Hold on. Because that's the symbol right there, and that's that's on the outside of the planet. So, ow, fuck. There's that, uh, you know, that warp thing on the outside of the planet. There it is. Say ya, Luna. Thank you for the six months. What up? Welcome back. Ow, my face. Okay, that's a white core, so that's... That's where I come, that's where you would come out from. Hmm. Uh, Zax556, thank you, Zax. That was a hell of a park job I did, huh? Hell of a park job. Wait, let me... Mm, there we go. Oh, okay. Right there. I'm, I refuse to believe that that something didn't happen. Okay. So. Oh. comes out earlier you shoot it in the black hole and it comes out from the white hole earlier no I've never checked out gunship I don't know who that is or what that is but I also don't know where this is You can't, no, you can't shoot, the white repels. Yeah, see, it, it's, it stops short because the white pushes and the black sucks. <laughs> nope, 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 not gonna, not gonna even, nope.
So now they're backwards. Hooray! Okay. <laughs> Great. Who cares what I do? Where's the place where we can warp? Fucking tell me something. Work, you fucking piece of shit. There's information in there, and it's like pop up. What the fuck? What the fudge? Ow! That's a black hole. See, that's a thing. Okay. I can't pick it up out of there. No, uh-uh. Sun's coming. Music's on. Sun's coming. We're all going to die. Well, there's a scroll that I won't have time to read, will I? Where's the nearest scroll wall? Fuck! I need to read this. I need to read this real quick. Where the fuck is the nearest scroll wall? Before the sun explodes. Here it is. I got it. Okay, hold on. Have I read this? I don't know. Yep. Okay.
Okay. Imagine otherwise, the men uh, will lose on him for an anatomy impossible. We are planning Ash Okay. Oh, I, I think that's. I might have. I think I've already done that one. Zeke, you're a true blade. A true blabe. I am a true blabe. Thank you. I'm glad that you think so. I accept my fate! Oh, come on. Well, in the air. Come on, here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we gotta we gotta review the logs and see what we've learned here and see what would be a good course of action to happen next. I still don't know what I did with those warp cores. But my next my, my next thing I want to do is take one of those warp cores to the other ship, but fuck, I gotta go through those goddamn anglers again. Because it had a damaged warp core. But also the warp core looked different. It was oblong. Okay. High energy lab, we got it. Ashwin Towers, got it. We reproduced the temp. Oh, that was just an experiment. Twenty-two minute negative time interval was possible. So that's the twenty-two minute interval. That's like, you know. In between, like, that's how long my game lasts. It's 22 minutes before I die. Oh. Designs for each of the towers. Okay. Each tower. Yeah, Ash Twin Tower designs. Towers allowed Nomai to quickly travel between Ash Twin and all of the locations. Cruise with the Ash Twin project. Yeah. I never found out how to fucking work that thing. Oh, designs for each tower on the Ash Twin's equator. Oh, the Ash Twin is not... I was on the Ember Twin or whatever. Wait. God damn it. Yeah, the Ash Twin has the fucking towers. Asshole. So it's not sand, but ash? You know, I don't know. They call it the Ash Twin, so I'm guessing, yeah. I'm guessing it is ash. And not sand, but... And it's gonna... Yeah, it's gonna fucking shoot me right through the sun. Abort. Abort! <laughs> Incoming sun, dunk!
No, it, it, it doesn't... It's not based on whether I... Whoops. Oh, God. Slow down. Slow fucking down. It's not based on whether I, I, I land or anything. It's just... It's, it, 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 it takes a minute before it actually starts is all. And sometimes I get there before it starts and sometimes I don't. Oh, and this is just a ball of ash, isn't it? Yeah, there's nothing that gets revealed until the fucking sand goes a little bit further down. Ship's gone. <laughs> the, yeah, that ship pieced out. It's, it's out of here. It's, it's on the other planet. It's good. Lessons are being learned every day. Learning is fundamental. What a brick. I love it when I overshoot it. Way overshot the mark because it's hard to judge how fast you're going with like such a large object as the only thing to judge by. Fuck it up again. God, I don't know how I could have fucked that up any worse. Look at this. I'm so fucking far away. I gotta go out to go around the fucking sun again. Jesus Christ.
Whoops. So that thing will pop you out the top. Because that's going up. Stay there. Don't move. This door is broken, isn't it? Yeah, that's a broken door. Is this the actual door? Is it real fake doors? Oh, there goes my ship. Could have gone over there. Read that other wall. Yeah, if I was here early enough, if I wasn't a fucking moron. How are you progressing with something? Presently, my, my assessment is that our plan will either fail explosively or su succeed explosively. No, I don't find that funny. Pretty sure I did this. <gasps> nope, I didn't do that yet. Really? Are you sure? I remember reading this, I thought. reset without like um without uh going to the quit menu who was saying that just finished last night bj thanks for teaching me bj you bet king king sis take off your helmet 
Oh, he responded by telling you one of the other astronauts can teach you. Oh, someone has to teach you how. Oh, what? One of the other, one of the other people in space. Oh, goody. Tower shard, right? Unknown. my planet oh into the sun maybe no okay he can teach you but he had to charge damn right it's better than yours Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Nothing is fun. Okay. Oh, that hurt me? Look at how hurt I am. I can't even believe it. Not that, not that. Here we go. This is the place I want. I think the other side, right? What up, Adam Cowell Bell? 
cool bell. Walk without rhythm and you won't attract the worm. Yes. Wajib. Wajib, it's you. I knew it. D cell, thank you for 25 months. Are you the Quizax Heteract? Are you the. <laughs> are you the shitbag cataracts? See, that's all I wanted to do, was do that. And then I open that door. And what does that do? What does that give me, guys? Looks like a load of dick. Dick! It does dick! It's a warp pad, yeah! But to where and when is it get it does it like I, I have to, I'll, I'll just wait I guess I'll just wait Oh fuck it warp me there it is Well, the other ones are nice enough to have a fucking timer to show you. 28, 20, 281,042 years ago. No user commands received for 10 minutes. All systems entering sleep. Six minutes, 40 seconds ago. Increased solar activity, detected sun station, hold integrity, approaching critical levels, closing emergency doors. Wait, let's, let's read what it is first. Oh, that's the emergency door. Okay, open it. Sure. Oh my god, I'm on the sun station. It's hot. It's hot in here. Oh my god. Getting sweaty. Getting real sweaty. Whew. Oh, where? Okay. Oh, can I? Match velocity. Imagine velocity. Call the ball. You're in there, kid. You got it. There you go. Okay. Fall. Fall. Science compels us to explode the sun. Yes, science compels us to explode the sun. Can we change this? I don't enjoy working in view of such a morbid mission statement. But it's accurate. We're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progress. That's our mission. Our mission is to decide if such an irresponsible feat is even possible. It died. What is wrong with you? Here's a better one. Mission. Determine if it's possible to prompt the sun to explode. You lack a sense of humor. At least I don't lack a sense of ethics. Kindly refrain from going supernova on me before the sun does. What the f- it's- they're doing- They're blowing up the sun for science? value of triangle man and and universe man well they have a fight triangle wins triangle man we know that star had has reached end of natural life cycle now approaching red giant stage warning evacuate sun station approximate time until sun is destroyed by expanding star two minutes 35 seconds approximate time until star's death 14 minutes five seconds 
Oh, I got two minutes before this station is destroyed. Okay. What happened? Did the sun station not fire? It fired, Yara, but it failed. The sun barely responded. There were intense, infinitesimally, infinitesimally small uh, surface level changes, but they were barely visible even to the third eye. The sun station is useless. It will never and could never cause the sun to explode. I don't know what comes next, my friends. I suppose we must start over, but I'm unsure how to start over. Return to Ash Twin first, my friend. Perhaps a change of task would help Spire notice a comet approaching the star system and we'd like to investigate. Hi, I hurt for you. My friends, we all know how hard you worked. I can only offer my compassion. How are you? How is it, Idaya? Idaya. You're, uh, we're well, Yaro, as well as we're gonna be expected, though. Disappointed, I may have dis disagreed with exploding the sun, but I never wished the device would fail. I'd hope our terrible work was finished. Show me something. Still not quite sure what this means. I know the masks have memories, but. Okay. Like you can't grab a mask. They're not. You don't interact with them. It's a hologram. It's it's basically it's like a movie. It's showing you stuff that's already come to pass or showing you a different place or something like that. Um, is this just like a viewing deck or something? There's nothing up here. This is where Doctor Who came to view the end of the universe, right? Well, you think this would have something in it. Like some sort of like scroll or something, but it doesn't, it has nada, nothing. All right. Uh, sorry, our star deck didn't impress you. We're like less than a kilometer from the sun. Less than a meter from the sun. <laughs> you burnt. Sorry, son. You burnt. <laughs> All right, let's see what we've learned. That was a sick burn. Sick burn. See if we what we've learned, if anything. Okay, the sun station has been revealed. It was designed to make the sun go supernova. The Nomai fired the sun station, but it had no effect on the sun. They concluded that the sun station could never cause the sun to go supernova. After the failure of the sun station, the Nomai took a break to investigate the newly arrived comet. According to a Nomai computer, our sun has reached the end of its natural life cycle. And that's it. The Nomai traveled to the solar system uh, in pursuit of a signal from something older than the universe self, they named the source of this signal the Eye of the Universe. What else has exclamation points? There we go. The Nomai Planet Construct technology capable of producing a 22-minute negative time interval on the Ash Twin. 
right? Well, it doesn't say there's more to explore here, but it is still a question mark. Okay. Oh, here we go. The island where the Nomai built the orbital probe cannon. All right, so we knew that. The Southern Observatory. There's a door to the observatory on the, on the surface, but it's broken. There's a path beneath that leads to the observatory trailheads. Uh, starts at Brittle Hollows, Equ Ecuador. <laughs> yeah, Ecuador. Right. Hmm. Okay. Well, that is going to do it for me today. We'll be continuing on tomorrow. Um, I might uh, just, I might start asking for subtle things uh, tomorrow as far as like, I might be asking Chad like, not answers to things, but where would, where would it be most beneficial to go next kind of a thing? So, uh, just, just to speed the process along a little bit. So I'm not just wandering. So, uh, I do kind of wish I could finish. I want to fit, I want to be able to finish the game tomorrow. I'm not sure if I can, I'm not sure if I will, I would like to, but, um, you'll probably beat it tomorrow. Okay. I got, I got eight more hours with the game. And if I ask where to go, it might speed it up a little bit. So. Um, we got you, boo. I've been screaming at my screen for a few days now. But what you, but that's the fun of the game. It's like, you know, like the, the, just a wandering around discovering and stuff is awesome. Uh, anyway, tomorrow noon, that's when we'll be continuing. But for now, I'm out of here. I'll see you then. Yeah, dude. All right, I'm out of here. Thanks, y'all. And until next time, for all of my seekers. For all of Zekodia, this is me, Zeke, saying, see ya.